Hey guys, Blue Star here again. I'm back with another episode of Elite Dangerous. I hope all you guys are doing good. Um, I've actually had a guest with me that's been, you know, coming on and playing with me the last few days. Um, you know, teaching him a few tricks. He's asking me random questions and learning things himself. So I'm gonna go up here to my number two button right here and go over to my friends tab and you can see it's none other than Savvy Alloy who just came to join me. You out there, Savvy? Oh, a uh, random guest. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure we did all all the Minecraft stuff. You know, I, I'd call myself at least a friend. True. I'll give it to you. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just bought this game with the last Steam sale. It was about fourteen dollars. I'm not sure what the price is uh, for the normal cost. Um, pretty much started out from scratch. Blue taught me a lot. You know how to fly, all the basics and everything, and the rest is common sense and good judgment. Uh, true. Um, so, been, been teaching Savvy a few things, you know, how to, you know, do transports back and forth. We've been trying to figure out how this, um, I think it's called, uh, what is it, Wings? How, um, I can bring it up here on the screen real quick if I put on his name. It says right here I can invite him to the wing. Um, it's pretty much a wing flight. It's where we get to fly around and be partners. Um. I'll send him the request out there real quick. That way he can accept it on his end. As and as you can see, see unfortunately, unfortunately, because, because we're both using, using TeamSpeak team and, and the game, he's probably, he's probably getting a lot of static, static on his side. If he speaks, I know I'm going to get a little yes. bit on my side. It sounds it's like we're talking through a little different. radio or something. Yep. yep. So, so while I'm in the screen, I'm going to head and hit the options. I'm going to go down here and say disable voice comms right here. Um... And then if he talks again, I, and, and that that only wait. took us what a couple hours to figure out. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know probably what half an hour. Were, I knew the settings were there, but um, Elite Dangerous does have a voice chat through it that does try to work on its own. So you don't have to get TeamSpeak or anything like that if y'all just want to play internal one and stay out of the, uh, stay out of it. That is an option, just for those who want that as an option. And as you can see right here, if I go back to my you know, our text messaging, it sits there and tells me that, you know, voice commands were open when we connected, and I went through and I turned them off. That way we didn't get that weird, spacey, echoey reverb in our ear. Um, but the main reason why we're doing a recording today is um, Savvy is currently in the default Sidewinder that y'all remember that we started off in. And he's about ready to upgrade ships, and at the same time we started talking about different ships. I'm going to actually open my starport services screen here um, and open up my shipyard. Is he, he saw it, and I have to give him credit to it. Um, I didn't realize I'm in the hauler right here that you can see on my screen that um, the adder right here is a slightly upgraded version of what I have. You know, it restores my armor, gives me better armor plating, my shields get better, my top end speeds better. And just a hair, the difference between the um, hauler and the adder here is down here on the internals, is it actually has one size two internal compartment more than the hauler, therefore making it actually a better transport ship all around also. So, um, gives me, you know, an extra hard point so I can have another forward weapon if I need to for safety, better armor, better shields, better top speeds, um, so I have to give credit to Savvy straight off to start this video off because he's the one who found the outer ship and I was totally missing that this is actually an overall better ship, so thank you Savvy for that information. Um, but I'm going to do like I did last time because I, after doing the calculations and numbers, I do think, you know, especially now that I fully own the hauler here, I'm not going to just outright purchase the ship or do just the basic trade-in. I'm going to sell off my extra components first to, you know, get the most for my money. So I'm going to start off here going in the Outfitters um, screen here. And here's that one little laser that the hauler only has. It only has the one Ford laser. I'm going to outright just sell it. That will give me another $2,200. Uh, before I do that, as you can see in the lower right corner, it tells you I have 2014 291 credits total. So there's an extra 2,000 right there, and just getting rid of the laser. 
Um, go over to internals, lightweight alloys, I can't reduce power plant, I can reduce my power plant back to the stock um, vault that it came with, which as you can see, um, it's going to be about, you know, another 15,000 15, credits there by reducing it back. Burn that cell. Thrusters, I don't think I could, yeah I can, I can actually drop it back to class E. Like I said, this was a post that I read that told me by doing this, you do save a little bit. And so far, I've not, I can't argue with what they've said. Because what it is, is when you do a purchase, you get a portion of back of what you sell. And by doing it individually, you do get a slightly better curve on your sell back. Brought my frame shift drive back. There's another 15,000 credits. Uh, life support's an E, power distributor's an E, sensors is an E. Fuel tank, I think I can actually drop it. Yep, I can drop it from a 4 to a 2. Um, it's 2,000 credits. Cargo rack, I can outright just sell it. That's straight up 10,000 credits for the, slot, the capacity of 8. Got two of those. Uh, shield generator, you can just outright sell it. That's another 17, almost 18,000 credits. So this cargo rack right here. And by the time I fully stripped my entire ship all the way down, I am now up to 2,940, sorry, 294,751 credits. On my screen, I just had uh, an extra cargo rack and uh, frame shift drive that I sold off screen. The cargo rack I sold on screen made a thousand credits, uh, but the original low and low frame shift drive, the cheapest one, I made about fifteen cre fifteen thousand credits there. So that put me over the hundred and sixteen thousand credit thing there. The adder's only eighty seven thousand. Correct. So now I'm going to go so. to the shipyard here. Go across to my adder. I should have actually probably showed this on the screen, guys. But if I go down to the purchase screen now, um, Hit as purchase. you can see there, um, yeah, I brought up the purchase screen. It gives again, it gives me the two options. You know, I can either buy the new ship and trade in my current ship, or I can just flat out outright buy the new ship. Um, as you can see, you know, the new ship's going to cost eighty-seven thousand eight hundred ten credits. Current traded in my old ship, I'm gonna get 34,461 credits, so it's gonna only cost me 53,000 for the new ship. By the time I do the trade in, so that's what I'm gonna do right there. Um, I, I can tell you because I wrote it down before I actually started the re re screen. If I would have done this before I sold off all those compartments, I would have only got 19,000 credits back for all the information. Oh, that's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. The whole new uh, uh, in interior. Oh yeah. The internals does look. Confirm transaction. I now have the adder. As you can see, there's the new look, guys. As it's tw twirling around there. Backing me into the docking port here. Going to Starport Services again, back to outfitting. Um, as you can see, it's got two forward lasers that it, it comes equipped with. Um, they're they're only rank F, but that's different. What's this empty pop port? Ah, see, I can have three forward weapons with this ship. It only came equipped with two, but I can add a third in the future if I need to. I won't do that right now because I need to get this ship back up where I can actually trade. So the very first thing I'm going to go down to is I'm going to go down and... I, I do got to say that that this adder looks like it's kind of dorky, like it's a little minivan school bus type thing. <laughs> it, it, it does. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to fix my cargo racks. 
because I sold off those two eight slaughters. Um, so I'm coming down to this internal first cargo rack capacity four. Um, I think buying equips my option. Here at the very top of the list are the ones that I sold off. See, I sold that two slaughter, I sold a four slaughter, and eight. So those are right there at the top. So I can immediately put those in. Put an eight slaughter in there instead of the four slaughter. Oh yeah, so I guess I'm gonna put the two slaughter that I bought in the empty compartment. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, that's a class two if, if I'm looking at it right. You should be looking at the same one, so you should be able to put a four slaughter in there. Uh. Um, you'd have to outright buy it. Yeah, well, I only got about thirty thousand credits, so. Um, what you can't, what you can do though, is if you look at the very bottom, you have a basic discovery scanner. If you want to, that's a class one slot. Is you can sell your scanner, and put your class two in it. Yeah, since that's sure. what I did with the other one too. So. Yep. It's all that. It says I got to rebuy my uh, my cargo slots. Yes, it does. But it's a, it's the same value you sold it at. Where if you would have actually I the suppose. way I understand it, the way I understand it is you you sold it at that value, so you're gonna pay that same value to get it back. But if you would have sold it part of the ship package, the complete ship package, you would have lost profit on it. I think it's like a five percent loss, and then you'd have to come back in here and buy that cargo rack right back. So my empty slot is a class two. Which I should be able to put a class four cargo rack in it. Kind of sucks. Uh, right. It, it kind of sucks that they don't separate it by you know fuel scoops, you know, in this category or whatever. You gotta oh, kinda... you can. You can at the very top where it says pricing ascending. You can go up there and tab down and change it to module type. Uh, yeah, module type. It'll okay. actually sort yeah. it, sort it for you by that. That is exactly what I wanted. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put this in here. It's, it's a four capacity right here. Shield generator. I'm leaving my shields. I'm keeping my shields. No, thank you. I am keeping shields. Too important. That's actually one of the reasons why I'm I'm willing to get out of the hauler and come up to a little bit better ship. Is this ship has a lot better defenses than the hauler does. So hopefully I will might be picked on as quite as much. So do, do you think of... that I should uh, do anything? Because I mean, I, I know that, that some of your stuff is already bought, so I'm just kind of sitting here like, uh, okay. Um, I got two well, capacity really, four racks. I bumped it up two, and then I got one capacity two. Okay, I'm gonna start at your bottom of the screen and come up, savvy. I put a two capacity in the very bottom slot. Yes. The two slots ab above it, I put in. A four slaughter, and why did I buy a fuel tank? Actually, the the, the third one up, I think, was a two slaughter. I just up that to a four slaughter. Yeah, um, I didn't pay attention to what I did, and I put my four slaughter, my four capacity fuel tank in it. I did not want to do that. I want to put a cargo rack in there, guys. I'm glad Savvy just made me look at that, trying to tell him what I'm doing when I just realized I put the wrong thing in it. I need Dark. cargo rack. Cargo rack. Four slaughter right there. I want the four slot cargo rack put in that hole. Thank you. See, and I got to sit here and I got to balance all my costs because I still got to buy some uh, some uh, some commodities also. Mm -hmm. I'm down to about 28000 so I'm even right now I probably shouldn't yeah. be buying anything else. Still got a shield generator, uh, though. Yep, you still got the shield generator. Um, so, with that being done... Um, we can come back to the station if we need to. Um, I'm just going to double check, see if our ships are actually equal. Again, Savvy, I'm starting at the bottom. I got a two slot cargo rack, a four, a four, the shield generator. Then I turn the next one up to an eight slot capacity cargo rack. Is that what you have? Uh, no, I got uh, I got a two, and then the other one was empty, so I just put my spare two uh, capacity cargo rack in. I got a four, 
my shield generator, another four capacity rack, and okay. uh, fuel tank with the capacity eight. Okay. And you you said you're down to twenty eight thousand credits. Well, twenty seven now. Going to rebuy back the second one. Might as well just not leave it sit there, you know. Hmm. Um, I'm looking at the frame shift drive real quick. Um, does your original frame shift drive you had fit into your current ship? Yes or no? I am assuming no, because I don't see it. Can't, you can't do a buyback? Nope. I actually can. But I'm looking at it. Uh, it says my jump range is going to go down. Let me look at this real quick. Okay, I currently have a class three. Oh, I damn, I darn sure don't want to do that. I would be putting a class two into a class three slot. And as you can see on the right side of my screen, guys, I know Savvy unfortunately can't see this. My laden would drop down to a five point six. I I can I'm, actually see that almost. So oh. I darn I darn sure do not want to downgrade to that weaker drive. That would be a bad mistake. As you can see here, here's the here's the D, the C. Oh, actually, that that B is a class two. So this this is where I have to start being careful because I can actually get multiple different classes in. Um, Savvy's probably seeing the same thing on his. I could put a class two or a class three in. Um, and even though this 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 one's got a rating of a B, a class two, I actually lose jump range by going to that drive so I don't want to do that I don't want to ever lose giving up flight distance so this is what's currently what effect. what are you gaining um, I'm looking at maybe going to the class 3 rating C frame shift drive and I would go from 7.5 laden which is fully loaded up to a 10.96 light years by upgrading my drive to that one. I'm probably just going to leave mine and get some more coin. Oh, I, I could do the class A. I mean, all, the, all that's all rating. red. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately you don't have the extra capital credits that I do. No, but I, could, gonna... I could upgrade mine to uh, a rating C class 2 or a rating D class 3. Okay, say that one more time. You do a what? I could do a rating C class two or a rating D class three. A okay, rating class two is what I had, and I'm showing it would be a loss on the jump range. Yeah, on mine too, but the D drive actually brings it up a lot, I think. The class two but D is also a reduction. No, for me, class the the rating D class three. Okay, class three. Yeah, that that would increase it, but it's going to be eighteen thousand credits, and you're already down to less than about twenty, right? You said. Yeah. So you wouldn't have any capital left to buy. Um. Buy cargo to transport. You'd have to just fly an empty ship. And that's not profitable. Yep. Let's not do that. <laughs> let's let's actually just leave the ship the way it currently is right now, and we've already actually looked up. A flight path here that we can actually fly some cargo around just that way we can take the new ships out for a spin guys um, so we're gonna go over here to the marketplace and what was it we were wanting to carry crop harvesters is that what we looked up I do believe so okay going down crop harvesters oh wow yeah there's more than enough for both of us to carry um, if you're looking at my cargo uh, current space, guys, it says eight, still it's still 18 slots, just like I originally had. I thought it was going to go up. <laughs> I can't... Mm. Wait. Yeah, I, I, I can fly with the full ship. This should be my biggest payout yet. <laughs> How many can you buy? I can fill up my ship. Oh, you can get it full? Yep. That's the important piece right there. Ships all okay. filled up. It all fully loaded. You're fully loaded. I will five thousand credits left. Yep. Do you have any idea Except of where we're taking this to? 
Um, actually, yes. Um, we are taking it to Pisces Kiplin port. Is where we're going with it. My map will load so, up here. There we go. Yep. The, the, here's P something else. Pic. Yep, this is something else that Savvy's taught me, guys. Is y'all remember last time I actually was on here? I kept spinning like Pisces right here. Would fly over here, and I would just click this plot route map right here, and it would um, give me my route to fly there. If I actually go one over to it next to the system map right here and click on it, it'll load up a different system map now. Which is, this is the new screen. And then I can go over here and look for my actual um, station that I'm going to, which in this case it's Kippen, Kipling Fork. And I yeah. can actually plot my route directly to that system and to that port. Because if y'all remember, I would do all the different jumps to get there, and then I'd have to actually finally lock in on my final destination. Uh -oh. Yeah, and you can do that for any planet. Uh, you know, I it's just you can't do it for any of the small ports, as far as I can tell yet. Um, so my computer's overthinking like it can't plot the route. Is yours having a similar problem? Uh, no. Okay, I'm back up one. Okay. Let's try this again. But, see, I gotta make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I gotta make eight jumps to it, though. Wow, eight jumps. Seriously? That's that's probably my par problem. Is, remember, I'm heavier. I have, the, I have more sl slot ra ra racks. Back up one. But I thought that when we flew here, we only made it in one jump. Um, remember we had better frame shift drive engines, lighter ships, the ship's a lot heavier. Wow. It is 14, it is 14.1 light years from here and fully laden. I can only jump seven. That should be two jumps yet. Yeah, but it's having a problem with plotting it. Let me try one more time. It should be able to do it. I thought it should be able to do it. it says, yeah, it's telling me I, I, it can't plot a route for me. Hmm. That's probably because, you know, to do a round, there's the, the, the distance, it can't find one that's less than the seven. So I'm currently too heavy. Are you able to make the jump? I yeah, I, I can go all the way to Pisces, but it's gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight jumps. And I'm holding twelve pieces of cargo. Yeah. I'm gonna have to fix this. Um How, how much cargo are, are, are you holding? I I have eighteen on board. You know, another thing I noticed is on the fuel gauge. On uh, my Sidewinder there, it had different, like, blocks, showing mm -hmm. now it's just, like, one solid bar. Well, that, that's also the difference in your fuel tank. If I remember right, the Sidewinder had a fuel capacity of a 2. The Adder has an 8 by default. I have a lot more fuel on board right now. Well, so let, well I... let's burn that fuel off so, 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 so we're uh, lighter. That's what the airplanes do, right? In, in theory. Um... <laughs> So what I'm going to do to fix this real quick, guys, is because I can do it. Um, there it is right there. I actually have the extra capital, and unfortunately, Savvy doesn't have yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my frame shift drive. That way I can make the jump with him. If I go to the class, class 3 rating C drive right here, I will, I will boost my laden up to a 10. Enough. I can't quite afford to do that yet. I could, but that's going to burn everything I have. So I'm going to upgrade my drive. That should fix my jumping issue right now. Just kind of curious to what... 
Oh yeah, yeah. There, there's less, uh, or there's more red showing. There's less. I, I, I can buy. I was trying to figure out why. But yeah, I just spent a bunch of money. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Oh, my laden currently is. I don't already fit it. Laden, I can jump eight. Okay, guys, as you can see, that time the computer had no problems recalculating the jump distance. I can actually do it in three jumps. So, did you hopefully we'll get... Did you want to fly with me so I can show them the the wing thing? Or? Uh, actually, yes, we're yes, I am going to do that, guys. Um, there's something else. Being in a wing, um, even though I can take a different route, and uh, you know, you, you've heard Savvy say he's going to have to take about eight jumps to get there. I can actually do it in two jumps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to select under my options right here. Um, I'm select Savvy and I'm going to enable wing beacon right here. I gotta accept that too. Um, Assuming. And actually, I, I I did the wrong one. I meant to do your name, and I'm gonna engage Wingman Navlock. That's what I actually wanted to do. I'm gonna leave the wing beacon on too, just to see what it does. I've never seen the wing beacon. But what what can happen is if Savvy's ready and he's already got his destination locked in and launch, wants to launch out and get out, is um. As he takes off flying, of course, as I can fly the same route right behind him. And it'll keep us together. It'll make us, you know, you're now dealing with both of us. If someone decides to mess with one of us, you have to deal with both ships at the same time. And it just adds an extra layer of security. So I'm ready to launch, I guess. I'm actually just lifting up and I'm fixing to go out the portal. Oh, yeah, I just seen your little square go by. Yeah. Hope I can still drive this thing. I think I think it's a manual transmission now. <laughs> um, one thing to note because we do have new sh uh, ship savvy. If you had noticed it, um, your power bar lights has been re zero. The two two dots in each thing, so I'm not. Okay, I didn't hear any of that really. Yeah, the ship was talking. Your power settings on the right side. Your systems, your engines, and your weapons. Press passing. She got a leg right there. Okay, it took me too long to get through the port cards. I should have been flying faster. But uh, yeah, don't forget to reset your power settings. Reset my power set. All the for the systems, engines, and weapons. Yep. It defaults always balances them when you get a new ship. I already did that. Okay, by pressing the number 7 key, guys, I actually target my wingman. So as I rotate in here, you can see there's Savvy. And I'm going to let him, you know, target his destination port. Friendship um, drive charging. Which you can see he just did that. Yep. I'm going to increase speed just to start closing in behind him. And as he takes off, as I reach his destination, I sh the computer should lock him on. So there he goes, he's taking off. And as you can see, mine automatically activates because I've got navigation locked on, and I'm just going to copy his destination, and here we go. I gotta love how laggy it gets in here for, for me. There's certain times where I might get one frame a second. There goes my jump. He's probably already arriving at yep. the other system. I'm already here. Now, the, the, the note to make about doing this is if he immediately aims at his next one right now and takes off, um, based on how many jumps there are, eventually he will jump before I get in there and can figure out where he went, and I'll lose him. So he's got to wait for me to fully get in like I am right now. Yep. Know, know that I'm in, I'm in behind him, I'm targeting, and... He, he can go ahead and take off, which he's already done. He's probably already... you already gone, aren't you? Right about... Four, three, yep, two, there's a message. One, one zero. zero. See, there, there's, the, there's a message that he just took off on me. You know, wake us out of range. Got about one but frame a second there for a second. <laughs> as I approach that destination, I'll walk on again and, you know, go, go 
was shooting out, shooting after him. Um, but he, he just literally has to wait for me to make the next make make the next jump um, and arrive before he actually takes off on me. Well, I'm already aimed up and ready. Yep. This next one, I, I know that we did some train through through this galaxy. This fast star system, I should say. Yep. In. I'm in. I'm coming around to target you, to aim at you. Oops, I just passed. There's the police square. Friendship Go for it. Drive charging. Sector, you know, it's idea of speed and see if it you okay. don't get as far as ahead. Like right now, I'm just flying through space for who knows how long until I can get to the point where you launched from. Well, I gotta be kind of careful because I gotta go around the uh, sun here. Yeah, that's why I'm not saying stop, but yeah. you know, see if there's a way to close in, close in a little bit of the gap. And I'm flying on the bottom of the pool area here. Okay. Which doesn't matter because you're going to be flying at full speed, probably. Well, yeah, I will. It's just, you know, trying to close in that time jump. Because each each jump, you know, you get that flight away from the sun while you're waiting for me to come in. In. I am in. Okay. Blue square's back this way. i got to loop around to it. Yeah, I see what you mean about it saying having to fly around the sun a little bit. There's the blue mark. Ready? Go for it. Frameship drive charging. That'll probably tell you you have to speed back up once it is just about ready to launch. Bottom of the blue area. I'm just a little bit quicker time, eh? Mm hmm. Know when you're ready. Okay, I'm lined up on you. Frameship drive charging. charging. So it, it, I'm thinking, you know, just this is just my personal opinion. I think, you know, as far as you know, if you're out here just flying around, Ready it does slow you down a little bit by Four, doing this, three, but it does add two, the extra, one, you know, together you know, as a team. Um, if something happens to one of us, you know, both of us can be in the same area. Unless if one of us makes the jump while we're trying to fly to the other square, because I happened to once. 
They got, they got uh, interdicted or something. That's where I'm thinking, you know, by slowing down and giving the other person a little bit of time to, you know, close the gap back in every time, you know, the sun happens. Is. I think this one is behind the sun. Oh, lovely. Love flying around circles around the sun. Well, especially, you know, you don't want to actually put your nose down into it and then you're flying towards it and it's like, oh boy try to overfly it and then still you're kind of scared to put that nose back down and okay yeah I'm, fl I'm flying this way first to get away from the sun pull up oh this is being interdicted okay really I'm gonna aim quickly as fast as I can too savvy there's this little blue square this is the reason for flying in the wing Wing formation, guys. His savvy is being pulled out. I am gonna fly right towards him real quick here. And I won. You won the battle. Okay. I think. Yes, I did. Yep. Wasn't too bad, but there's a little point in there where it was a little hard and whatever. So I'm gonna take off. Okay, I'm locked in right behind you. Charging. I almost have to watch your uh, video now because I wonder what that looks like. Probably didn't see oh, anything, you... did ya? I, actually, your your the blue square that normally um, normally Ready see engage. yours was actually more of a purple now, and my one. upper marker um, uh, half your bars turned red. So I knew something was up, and it told me you were being interdicted. Yeah, th that's why I mean. I, I know I that. Aimed right at you. I know on the bottom on mine I can see your health. If you get interdicted, then uh, one side is uh, red, and the other side's blue. That's you know depending on how far you are. The blue obviously is your guy winning. No, the red's the other guy winning. Yep. Just came in. I actually heard that. You heard, you heard my drop? Yeah. You ready? I'm lined up on you. Frameship drive charging. Four, three, There's two, the protection. one, engage. And you're going. I'm starting to get scared here. Why? Because I'm underneath a quarter tank of fuel here. Uh, okay. Check your navigation window. How many more jumps does it say you have to take? Uh, let's see here. Guess then it's the last one. Okay. Yeah, it's, 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 pushing, it's pushing the limit. Yeah, there's Pisces. Just come in. Yep, I'm curving around to aim at you. There you are. Frameship drive charging. Yeah, see, because I'm, I'm flying his route, guys, it doesn't tell me how many jumps it is. It's literally just playing follow the leader here. Am I, I should be actually pulling you in, too, so you don't gotta press any buttons. Uh, hopefully. Two, one, well, I know, I, I know how, how, that depends on how far ahead of you, ahead of me you are, too. Well, I know that once you hit that certain point to where I jump out, uh, when I was following you that one time, I didn't have to touch anything. Well, until I was interdicted that one time, also. Next stop, Kip Kipnine Port, or whatever it's called.
Oh, too fast. Slow down. Yeah, I gotta, you gotta go around this planet here, too. Actually, it's hovering around that planet. Um, what, one thing I find neat is, you know, you, can, you got the sunny side that's, you know, that you're seeing on my screen now, kind of. Mm -hmm. If you actually look on the back side, it actually shows you uh, all the lights on, like there's people living there and stuff. Like, you know, it's an actual port. Up and out. Yep, you're slightly ahead of me, so it didn't it didn't detect right. But as I close in, it should. I think it'd be within uh, ten or something. Mm -hmm. There it goes, right there. I think I saw it start triggering at twelve. Boy, this ship uh, s sure sounds different than my other ship. Oh yeah, it's even sounding different than my hauler. This ship totally has a totally different sound. Which I guess like is kind of nice, but it's, al like it. it's also kind of weird. I got a two hundred. I got a two hundred credit fine here. You do. Yeah. Um. Uh, Remember earlier you said you ran into the space dock or something? Did they fine you for it? Uh... I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. Docking Almost within range, wanted. guys. So I need to do a contact and request docking. I just did that. I'm going to landing pad number six. I am going to 42. I'll just pass you. Yes, you did. I'm still kind of new at going into these small little portals here, and I will take her easy, not. get her lined up, and then once you get it right, it does not hurt to be a little more cautious. Whoa. Accelerate through it. Um, this right there. The landing gear. Landing gear down. Landing gear deployed. I still think this is considered a small class ship. We were wondering if we had upgraded to the medium class or if we're still in the smalls. I think this is still a small. Well, I just kind of assume that you're in the medium class ship with the hauler the way that you're talking earlier. No. The hauler is actually considered a small. I think the adder is still a small category two. I think it's uh, the Mark, it up. Mark K three or something, like Locking the smallest medium. Engines disengaged. Okay, get into the hangar here. Enter starport services here. Hundred and eighty nine credits in fuel. Wow. That was an expensive flight. But I got ship. a three hundred and forty. So uh, I guess that you that you trailing me, I'm pulling you around or something here. Yeah, I see that or remember I had to upgrade my frame shift to be able to make the jump. It might be better on fuel. Well, I think I noticed that when I was following you that one time is like, gee, it's cost me more fuel or less fuel. Mm-hmm. We got about 700 credit for each uh, unit here. Great. 
grand total of 9,000 credits. Okay, guys, um, let me back up here real quick. Um, close this screen out. As you can see in the upper right screen, it says Savvy Alloy shared trade profits of what was that, 4,000 or 2,000? Uh, I don't know, I think I sold mine for 9,000. Okay, I'm trying to remember how to get that information screen back up. That's under contacts, underneath the. Mm hmm. Whatever. Well, I, I was talking about, you know, in the info screen window where it actually pops up and tells you. Now, if I go, come in here in the contacts, guys, here on my screen, real quick, as you can see down here, I now got trade dividends. I got 462 credits for what, uh, Savvy carried in. You said you carried what, 12 units? Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, here's the other another advantage of doing the uh, wing flight commands, wing flights together, is I get part of the, I get I think an additional 5% profit off of what he carried, and you got some for me too, right? Yep, 693 credits. So yeah, that, that, that's the difference of, you know, 12 versus 18. I carried 18, he carried 12. And he gets an extra 200 credits more. So, a little bit of an advantage of working it. Now, there is a bug. Randomly, people do do try this. It's been reported, and this does not always work. If you fly, it doesn't work. I've heard break, re break your command, re break your wings, and reform them back up and do it again. Um, it's just you know, every now and then it's bugged, it bugs out. Um, They've been told about it, um, so hopefully we work in one. So, there, there's our there's our flight guys today. Um, as you can see, we've upgraded to a new adder ship. Um, obviously, me and Savvy's going to be doing some more flights off screen, earning more credits up, trying to upgrade our ship more. Um, obviously, you know Savvy's going to want to get the upgrade his frame shift drive as soon as he can afford it. Um, I'm going to you know want to be upgrading pieces of my ship also. So we'll continue working and upgrading, upgrading our ships, making it where we can actually fly better. Um, what else we got to upgrade? I know, I know you're, you're, you can still upgrade your cargo racks. Um, I'm trying to figure out. I thought, I thought I would be able to carry more than 18. But you know, if nothing else, I'm in a thicker hole plating shield ship now to help me with uh, people that are trying to, you know, interdict us. And um, I'll catch you later. Uh, anything you need to add, Savvy, before we go? Uh, nope. I think we pretty much covered it. Okay. Hey, guys. My name is Blue Star. Um, and I'm Savvy Alloy. Um, thanks for watching our videos. Uh, please hit the like, the share buttons, and the uh, subscribe buttons. Helps both grow out our channels. We appreciate it. Um, take care for now, and we'll see you next time. Until next time.